Satan's greatest tactic against anointed people is intimidation. The temptation of intimidation is your strongest temptation before you will be used by God. And the temptation goes something like this, where you will be reminded of your fault. You will be, your feelings will become extremely glorious. In your feelings, you will be a victim. You will be small like a grasshopper. And Satan uses the voice of intimidation to cripple the anointing. How did he do it against David? He said, you're just a boy. You're nobody. Look at you. <laughs> Who do you think you are? My friend, that is the devil's strongest weapon to stop the anointing. And what did David do? David switched from who he was physically to who God says he was. And the moment he switched to identity, no experience fighting giants before, the anointing started to flow. He didn't miss the rock and the rock somehow, someway hit it so hard against that big guy that he fell and did not need to get hit second time. He never got up again. That's exactly what the anointing will do if you overcome intimidation, temptation. Because your greatest temptation during ministry is intimidation. Because intimidation cripples my identity if I let it and it releases my insecurity. And what insecurity does is I shy away into my comfort zone instead of into my courage. In fact, intimidation is one of the signs of witchcraft. Intimidation, domination, and manipulation are the three signs of witchcraft. The moment you fall under intimidation, you are susceptible to manipulation and domination. You pretty much are under the control of witchcraft. And the best way to overcome, you will feel the tug, literally. <laughs> Unless you're in it, <laughs> And each one of you who will walk in the anointing, who will begin to see the supernatural, whether you're going to pray in the parking lot, in the VIP room, whether you're going to pray in the street, whether you're going to pray in Starbucks, there will always be a feeling of intimidation. The moment you step over that, you release the identity. Yes. It's there. There's no trick. There's just simple, a simple boldness. And the way, so that's why I'm using the word intimidation. So when that comes, you know that this is normal. It's not a sign that God is saying, don't step out. It's yeah. the devil saying, please don't because I'm going to get hurt.